Hi everybody, welcome to the show. I know I haven't updated it in like forever and please forgive me. I've been kind of busy looking for work, trying to get myself stable, trying to get out of here, you know. But I actually am updating today because I'm trying to sell some jewelry. Now, um, many of you know that, or probably don't even really care, but I, I actually do try and make some jewelry. I have my own, I make my own earrings for myself and they're really nice and Mind you, most people think I'm a girl, but I'm not. I'm a dude. I really like jewelry, though. But I'm going to go ahead and share with you some of the things that I've actually been making. Um, I've actually been starting to make these paracord bracelets. Now, this is a small for, like, a child or a really, really, like, anemic dude or female. doesn't really matter. But this is a solid black paracord bracelet. Um, they just snap together. Again, this is a small small you know for children for kids who are trying to grow up um, I also have a black salt and pepper like um, paracord bracelet again snaps together quite nice really beautiful um, I also have a solid red for those who just like to make a statement saying hey look at me hi but then again I also have this quite beautiful rainbow paracord bracelet that I love to death now, of course, you know, and just, oh, sorry, snap it together. I have these giant buckles because I could not find um, any buckles at my Hobby Lobby or my Michaels that were smaller that could do the paracord. Um, I was a little upset about that because I wanted them to be a smaller and to be streamlined with the thing. They're a little bit bulky. I'm thinking about taking a Dremel tool and getting rid of this nub, but then again, I kind of like it. So... Um, I also have a couple other things. I have some beaded bracelets. Now, these are put together with toggle clasps, and um, they're quite nice. This is the unisex police-inspired bracelet from my, my local police department. Um, I also have a female version of this same bracelet. Now, this is gemmed with um, some sapphire gems and some seed beads. This is quite nice. Um, I haven't, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, I, uh, I have an amethyst bracelet, uh, of course this is done with amethyst bra uh, beads and some silver, um, seed beads and of course toggle bracelet clasp again. All of my bracelets have that, I do not want to use lobster clasps, I think they're quite cumbersome and just icky for that, I'd rather use those for necklaces and maybe anklets. Um, definitely not toggle for anklets because I just, I don't like them. Now, I have two different, um, Peridot bracelets. Now, this is a basic Peridot bracelet with silver seed beads as well as the amethyst bracelet. Um, toggle clasp again. Um, Peridot gems. And then I have this one, which is a, um, Peridot bracelet but with clearer, or clear whitish beads. Uh, they shine quite well, and it's very nice. All of these, um, seven, I think seven inches, or seven to nine inches. I'm forgetting the actual sizes right now because I've had to record this 50 million different times <laughs> because my cell phone is a piece of crap. Anyway, um, I also have a couple of other things. Oh, let me go ahead and move on to these. Yes, I um, have these beautiful um, bead weaved earrings, handmade. Uh, these have, I don't remember the color, but they're like a pinkish purple, uh, eight millimeter seed bead in the center, uh, not seed bead, uh, pearl, pearl bead. And then these have these, um, beautiful, um, um, oh, I done lost my mind. Please forgive me, you guys. I'm just trying to rush back through this because the last video was 30 minutes long and you guys know how you hate anything over 15 minutes. So... But these are these beautiful, like, Easter-inspired. They also go well, great with the Pierdo bracelet. I also have these Valentine-inspired... Oh, let me see if I can get them. Valentine-inspired earrings. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. I can't really see myself, so... You know, because I'm filming this on an iPhone on the back, so... Uh, it's got a giant blood red 8mm uh, bead with the purplish pink on the outside... Red gems. There, there are, this is actually not a gemmed, um, uh, what you would call it, 
Uh, the only one that is gemmed are the um, Easter inspired, but he's got sea beads, nice purple, um, and uh, six millimeters in there. We've got two of them as well. Now for your goth chicks or your goth dudes or anyone who really likes black and red, I have these beautiful um, goth inspired. Now these have these solid black beads on the side with the blood red on the inside. Quite nice. It's very beautiful. Of course I have two of them. So, oh, trying to rush through this. Oh, 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 this is beautiful. Now for any of you people who have grandmothers who want to have, um, pictures lying around or you're really into the whole um, hipster thing and like to carry on pictures of your family but you really kind of want to show them off I actually have this double-sided picture locket that you can wear it's quite nice fits almost everyone it'll hang pretty low so um, you know you can have it you know dangling you can also um, uh, put any picture that you want in here. Just re uh, pull the spring down and there you go. Um, uh, what am I missing? What am I missing? Uh, ah, yes. I have... Now, I know how some people hate these things, hate people wearing them, but I decided while I was at, you know, um, Hobby Lobby to pick these up. These are uh, feather earrings. Uh, well, no, they're not feather earrings. They're just feathers that I popped into earring form and I have this lovely violet and light violet and I have this hot pink and a little violet and then I have these beautiful black with silver paint on them, I think, or is it silver glitter? It's silver glitter. Please forgive me. All of these are quite nice and I got them for really cheap. Um which is, you know, better for you because you can come out there and come get them. Of course, all the wire that's put on them is, is made by myself. So, but then comes these beautiful chokers that I have here. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but of course you can go to my Etsy page, but these are quite beautiful. It's got a snag in there yet again from when I handled it from the other vlog. Please forgive me, but yeah, these are quite beautiful. I think this is the one that I could technically wear. No, this is not the one, but these are quite beautiful. And I think that I've covered everything, but again, I will be making some more paracord bracelets. I've got some more paracord that I can do and use. I'll, we'll, I will definitely try and make some more rainbow bracelets because I know some of you gays out there really love your rainbow, but I'm gonna try and get some smaller um, buckles. I cannot stand these, these giant buckles. I just, uh, cannot stand them. They're just so cumbersome. They, yeah, they add an extra like inch or whatever to the bracelet, but sometimes people get their skin caught and I don't like it. I like the smaller buckles, um, especially for kids with like trying to get it on and everything. The big buckle could be a little cumbersome, but you know, adults actually like them. You can melt this and set it on fire if you need to, or use it, you know, they're, they're technically survival bracelets, but I actually, you know, they're, they're nice. Um, so yeah, go check out my Etsy page. It's in the description below. It's etsy.com slash slop. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, slop. Yeah. Anyway, etsy.com slash shop slash Hamilton Creations. Go check it out. And uh, I hope to see you guys there. Anyway, later guys. Have fun. And I should be making another vlog soon showing you guys what I'm doing. I also tried to make, a you know, some other stuff. So have fun. Bye guys. Enjoy.